Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video. So today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and friendships. Um, now I do have trouble making friends and I'm going to talk about that later on in this video. However, right now I wanted to talk about a question that I get asked quite frequently and I think it's a common question within the cerebral palsy disability community, um, <laughs> if I can call it that. Um, which is, well, do you have more friends with cerebral palsy? Do you have more friends who are disabled? Or do you have more friends who are able-bodied? And for me, that's a really insignificant question. And it's insignificant because I don't want to identify people, just like I don't want people to identify me, only solely on the fact um, that they're either disabled, have cerebral palsy, or are able-bodied. Um, you know, before you have cerebral palsy, before you are disabled, before you are able-bodied, you are just a person with interests. And so that's what I kind of try and build my friendships on, and those are what my friendships are predicated upon, is the fact that we have common interests. Um, now sure, the common interests might be that you have cerebral palsy, um, but in my experience, you know, those friendships, even though they are friendships, aren't as strong um, because there's not enough glue to hold the relationship together. Um, you know, we might both have cerebral palsy, but have completely different interests. Um, and so that friendship isn't going to be that strong. Um, my, my strongest friendships are among the people um, who I have common interests with. Um, now sure, those are able-bodied people. A lot of them are able-bodied people. Um, some are disabled. But it's not the fact that they're able-bodied or disabled, it's just the fact that we have common interests. Um, and so, you know, that's where I am. Um, a lot of this came from my upbringing. Um, I grew up amongst able-bodied people. I didn't really know any disabled people, didn't really know anyone with cerebral palsy until I got older. Um, and, and you know, I've talked about this before, I didn't even know I had cerebral palsy. I didn't even know I was disabled until I was 11. Um, you know, I knew I was different. Um, I knew I didn't do things as well as other people. Um, but I just, you know, I attribute that to being different. Um, and so I thought I was able-bodied. I, I didn't really know. <laughs> but I had cerebral palsy. Um, and, and so, you know, I haven't distinguished myself as disabled that much in my life. Um, you know, a lot of my friends are friends from my childhood. A lot of my friends are able-bodied. Granted, I do have disabled friends, and I do have friends with cerebral palsy. Um, so, you know, that's that's enough with the, that question. Um, because I did want to get into the fact that I do have trouble making friends. Um, now I think a lot of this can be attributed to um, my introvertedness um, and, and I guess my introvertedness could be caused by my cerebral palsy or it could just be how I was brought up, you know a lot of my family members are introverted um, and, and when I say that it might be caused by my cerebral palsy I mean that um, my cerebral palsy growing up um, made me want to stay in the back a lot um, and not step forward out of a fear of messing things up. Um, so I stayed away from a lot of things. I didn't really put myself out there. And so that's where my comfort zone is. Um, now that doesn't mean that I don't put myself out there because I do. Um, but again, that's out of the comfort zone. Um, and so I'm not I'm not very effective in making friends um, because I like to stay away from people a lot. You know, I really do. 
I really do like to be alone. Um, I'm not that great at starting conversations. I ha kind of have an awkward way of, of doing things. Um, but then the other point I want to make is I don't know where cerebral palsy comes into the equation of all of this. Aside from my introvertedness, I don't know how people perceive me. I don't know how, I guess, intimidated they are or fearful or how, how um, quick they are to cast me as the other. Um, and not want to be friends with me. I don't know where that cerebral palsy comes in. Um, because a lot of my able-bodied friends have never asked me what was wrong with me. Um, I think a lot of people recognize that there's something different about me. Um, mostly in how I walk. Um, and I guess how I do other things as well. But they've never really asked, um, and I, I don't really know how to tell people unless they ask. Um, because I, I think, you know, if, if they ask, they're, they're entitled to an answer. Um, but if they, if they don't ask, I just, I, I just really leave it alone. Um, I don't know, and I, I might be scared of how that will affect the relationship because I don't want other people to see me um, as ineffective, unuseful, um, just kind of damaged because I think that's how a lot of people have seen me after they find out that I have cerebral palsy, after they figure out that I have a physical disability. They, they kind of push me to the side, um, but I don't know. Um, so feel free to comment down below. I will just kind of leave it open on that note. Um, yeah, comment down below, suggestions, opinions, comments, questions, concerns, um, and I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video.